For the first time, Google has spearheaded the design and developments of their own major campuses, Bayview and Charleston East. Each has presented an opportunity to take human-centered, sustainable design to a new level with features like Dragon Scale Solar and Net Water Positive. Google saw it as an opportunity to reimagine what an office building is and what can be done with it. Welcome to Tech Duels. In today's video, we're going to give you an inside look at two of Google's latest projects, its state-of-the-art Bayview and Charleston East campuses. If you find the video interesting, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more great content. And hit the bell to turn on notifications. Thanks for your support. Let's get started. A further expansion into its Silicon Valley home and popular Googleplex headquarters Google's Bayview campus in Mountain View, California fully opened to Googlers in May 2022, after breaking ground in 2017 while the nearby Charleston East project is nearing completion. Google and Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai said, We've always as a company cared about our spaces. Early on, we had a view that designing great spaces can really affect productivity and culture. The two projects mark the first of Google's campuses they've designed and built from scratch in comparison to the famous Googleplex, which was purchased from Silicon Graphics in 2006 and repurposed. First, let's head over to Bayview. The Bayview complex is a sign of Google's continued commitment to the physical workplace, even as its employees transition to a hybrid schedule that includes some time at the office and some time at home. Their goal was to construct a replicable, scalable, and flexible architectural concept as they recognize that we don't know what work will look like in 5, 10, or 20 years. The financial cost of the new campus was not revealed by executives or spokespeople. However, it is one of 20 major office and data center projects set to get nearly $10 billion in funding in 2022. 4,000 employees in the company's advertising division will be based on the campus, which consists of two large office buildings, a 1,000-seat event center, and 240 hotel apartments for employees who are only in town for a short time. Google makes the majority of its money from advertisements, yet its employees are located all across the world. For the first quarter of 2022, the business generated $54.66 billion in advertising revenue, up from $44.68 billion the year before. As a result, it only seems right that they construct a centralized headquarters for their top earning division. According to David Radcliffe, Google's Vice President of Real Estate and Workplace Services, both Bayview and Charleston East projects began with a deep dive into what drives Google, its people. They then designed from there, putting the people's experience in the building ahead of the building's exterior. When surveyed, Google employees claimed they were happiest, most productive, and most creative when they could work in quiet surroundings, free of noise and movements. The attention Google dedicated to components you can see and feel, such as materials, lighting, air quality, thermal comfort, and acoustics, reflected the company's focus on people. These features may be found throughout the campus in the form of vegetation, natural light, and outside views from every desk, all of which help to improve the health and welfare of individuals who work there. In addition, the ventilation system uses 100% outside air, in comparison to a standard ventilation system, which only uses less than 30% outside air. Bayview spans 1.1 million square feet across three buildings on a 42-acre plot near the NASA Ames Research Center in Silicon Valley. Public spaces, which serve as exciting locations for cooperation and interaction, are located on the ground floor. The building's second story is the most inspiring, with desk spaces on one continuous floor plate, a blank slate providing flexibility for Google's future to take shape. The floors are linked by courtyards, which have been purposefully designed to provide key movements for circulation, daylight and connection to nature, spontaneous interaction and wayfinding. Bayview consists of almost 20 acres of natural open space, including wet meadows, woodlands and a marsh, with the aim to restore native landscapes and wetlands in the Bay Area. The all-electric Bayview campus rethinks how buildings interact with nature, creating healthy, sustainable environments for Googlers to do their best work. Sundar Pichai said, We wanted to set an example on sustainability. Here, we're doing visible things and sharing everything about how it's done. 
At Google, sustainability has been a core value for more than 20 years. We were the first major company to become carbon neutral in 2007. We were also the first to match our operations with 100% renewable energy in 2017, and we've been doing it ever since. In 2020, we eliminated our entire carbon legacy. Our next ambition is our biggest yet. By 2030, we aim to operate our data centers and campuses on carbon-free energy 24-7. To deliver on this commitment, Bayview is a 100% electric building where even the kitchens are electric. The structures are partially powered by a first-of-its-kind dragon-scale solar skin. Equipped with 90,000 silver solar panels and the capacity to generate nearly 7 megawatts of energy, which generates 40% of the building's annual electricity. Bayview will be one of Google's first campuses to run on carbon-free energy 90% of the time, thanks to wind power from adjacent wind farms. Bayview also has North America's largest geothermal pile system to heat and cool the buildings which is expected to reduce carbon emissions by over 50% and water needed for cooling by 90%, saving a massive 5 million gallons of water yearly. The specially designed solar panels that line the structure's roofs are positioned to maximize rainwater collection and natural light entering the structure. Natural light combined with other characteristics such as high perforated ceilings are designed to make Googlers feel as if they are outside. Water is a key topic in Bayview because of its proximity to the San Francisco Bay. Bayview was built in accordance with the International Living Future Institute's Living Building Challenge standard of net water positive, which means that all non-potable water demands are satisfied by on-site recycled water. They've designed storm water management ponds where the water may be collected and combined with treated wastewater from the building to generate a long-term on-site source of non-potable water. Bayview is on target to earn LEED NCV4 Platinum certification and become the world's largest project to receive the ILFI LBC Water Pedal certification. Now over to Charleston East. The ongoing Charleston East is on the cutting edge of sustainability, focusing on procuring healthy resources and eliminating waste to create a lively, healthy environment for all. Charleston East is a 590,000 square foot office building located on an 18 acre property in Mountain View's North Bayshore neighborhood near Charleston Park. This comprises 10,000 square feet of community area, which includes a restaurant, retail, and event space. The southern portion of the Charleston East property is surrounded by a pedestrian and bicycle path that is part of the wider North Bayshore Green Loop. Locals, visitors, and Googlers will enjoy the site's native landscaping, public arts, gathering spaces, and a big outdoor public plaza that will host farmers markets, food trucks, live music, and more. With flexible workspaces, healthy and repurposed materials, and public spaces for the entire community to enjoy, Charleston East pushes the frontiers of sustainable architecture. Charleston East is also on target to receive LEED NCV4 Platinum certification and will also be one of the world's largest buildings to receive the ILFI LBC Materials Pedal Certification. The LBC Materials Pedal Certification aims to protect the health of the building's occupants, the surrounding community, and the supply chain as a whole. Thousands of materials on the project went through a thorough sourcing and approval procedure using the LBC Red List as a basis. The design utilizes salvaged materials and four Stewardship Council certified timber products to support a circular economy. Approximately 90% of construction trash was avoided from landfills thanks to on-site waste management, and a closed-loop wallboard program allowed the site to recycle over 530,000 pounds of drywall debris. Over the course of its existence, the circular design goals help the building contribute back to its community and the environment. The site design and native landscaping aid in the restoration of historical ecosystem features that support wildlife and increase landscape resilience. Google's ambition was to push the boundaries of what an office space could be, not just for Google employees, but also for the community and the industry as a whole. Through creative architecture and innovation, the Bayview and Charleston East campuses embody the tech giant's culture of innovation and sustainability. Sundar Pichai said, to reach 24-7 carbon-free energy, we also need to go beyond wind and solar and tap into sources of on-demand clean energy like geothermal. Geothermal uses a consistent heat from the Earth to generate electricity, but it's not widely used today, 
and we want to change that. It's happening right here at Bayview and Charleston East, which have been built to the highest sustainability standards. Be sure to leave us a comment below to let us know if you're impressed by Google's latest projects. Comment impressed or not impressed below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we release more great content. Thanks for watching Tech Duels. See you in the next one.